Minecraft's oceans has received a few improvements over the years, mainly during the 1.13 aquatic update. That a lot can still be done to improve them further. So in this video, I will showcase some mods that transform the oceans, whether it be by adding new biomes, structures, or mobs. This video is targeted towards Forge and Fabric, but I'll show which mod loader they're available for at the start of each showcase and the version. Firstly, before we go roaming Minecraft's endless oceans, you're going to want some diving equipment. Your best option is the Scuba Gear mod, which has four pieces including the helmet, chest, leggings, and boots. Each item has its own bonus. Wearing a helmet will grant the water breathing effect permanently. With the chest plate equipped, you'll be able to mine at regular speeds again. Whereas the leggings and boots both give movement buffs, whether you're swimming or walking along the ocean floor. Wearing the full set provides some fire resistance too. None of these items have recipes as you have a chance of obtaining them from drown instead when you kill them. If it needs repairing, which it will often, you can do so with iron ingots. Awesome Dungeons adds dungeons into lots of locations in Minecraft. But one of the add-ons Ocean Edition will allow them to spawn within Minecraft's oceans. Currently, this mod includes seven different dungeons. These are some different ocean temples, ocean cage, ocean ruin, and ocean quad. Like other awesome dungeon mods, no new items, blocks, or mods are added. Instead, these locations are filled with vanilla content. As you explore the dungeons, you can find barrels containing loot. And most of the creatures that inhabit these locations are going to be drowned. It might even be a fun idea to take control of one of these locations and turn it into an underwater base. Boatload used to be known as Extra Boats. At the moment, it adds three new types of boats into the game, which are the Chest Boat, Furnace Boat, and Large Boat, and they're available in each style of wood. When riding around in the Chest Boat, you'll have some personal storage to bring along as the built-in chest has 27 storage slots. You might be deceived by the Furnace Boat. It doesn't allow you to cook or smell items. Instead, it's fueled with coal, which will power it for three minutes. While powered, it will have increased movement speed. If the player is sitting in the boat when it's fueled, then it will also move on its own. Finally, there's the large boat. This boat can hold four entities at once, whether it be animals or other players. Nunku's Sea Dwellers will add some new villages into Minecraft, which all spawn underwater. These are inhabited by Mermors, and just like villagers, these have professions that allow them to be hunters, farmers, blacksmiths, and more. But you might also find Mermors spawning in the wild without a home. You're able to trade with them, giving them items like diamonds and prismarine, although the main currency is aquamarine. And expect to get better trades when using aquamarine compared to other items. Through trading, you'll be able to obtain some unique items like depth equipment, which gives bonuses themed around the oceans. Or there's the Mermaid's Cup, which will allow you to breathe underwater, and the Mega Sponge, which can absorb water infinitely without being placed down, with a few other interesting items being available. With Tax Ocean Villager installed, you can find multiple ships that are sailing the seas. Some of them are friendly and some of them are hostile, as they can be owned by either pillagers or villagers. Or you might come across some being run by regular hostile mobs like skeletons and zombies. And a few of them act as custom mobs, with there being the likes of captains and sailors to fight or trade with. The likes of sailors will trade lots of ocean-related items. When searching a ship, you'll typically find loot beneath the deck or even some explosives to blow it up. This used to be a data pack but was recently ported into a mod. Aquamurray isn't solely about oceans, but the theme of the mod is about how ships filled with adventurers became trapped and how lots of deathly creatures surfaced. And in general, it's just a really cool mod that a lot of people miss. In the ice maze biome, you can find a few new structures and mobs, unlock new equipment, and eventually summon Captain Cornelia, a new and exciting boss. But there's also Anglerfish, Mother of the Maze, and Tortured Souls. Overall, the mod is very high quality with lots of new sounds which really bring the environments to life and an interesting story that gives you some lore. One of Yelm's newer mods is Better Ocean Monuments. With it installed, you'll notice that ocean monuments are changed massively compared to what we see in vanilla Minecraft. They're much larger with wide open rooms, staircases, and small corridors, which makes them feel maze-like. No new mobs or blocks are added, but expect to find better loot like tridents and hearts of the sea. The layouts of these ocean monuments tend to be more randomized too, and you'll often spot these monuments while sailing as they peek above the surface. Aquaculture 2 is a fishing mod, and it starts by adding just over 30 new fish. These can be caught with your fishing rod, or in the wild with a bucket. 
The fish can be found in different water types too, such as freshwater, arid, arctic ocean, saltwater, and more. There are also multiple fishing rod tiers, so they can be made from iron, gold, diamond, and neptunium. Fishing rods can be upgraded inside the tackle box, where they can receive bobbers, hooks, and worms which increase your catch rate and give effects like luck. You might catch neptunium, which can be made into new armor and tools which give benefits when used underwater. New reversions of the small ship's mod currently adds two new boats into Minecraft, which are the cog and the brig. These each have their own crafting recipes and can be made from different types of wood. The brig is the bigger of the two, and like with regular boats, they can carry multiple entities. Navigating the ship can be done by lowering the sail, and you can increase or decrease it to adjust speed. These ships have inventories too, with them having just over 50 and 100 storage slots. Cannons can be added to some parts of a ship, and you'll need to place gunpowder and round shots in the ship's inventory. When you're sitting in the ship, you can press space while looking at a cannon to fire it. Another mod that adds transportation is Endless Ocean's Aquatic Adventures. It adds jet skis, which come in lots of different colors. These power themselves and can travel at a maximum speed of over 30 blocks per second. You can obtain them by trading with an NPC found on a new yacht structure found in the ocean. Some new creatures can be found within oceans too, such as blue whales, ancient mothers, African penguins, and some new species of dolphins. Jellyfishing is inspired by SpongeBob and it adds the jellyfish field's biome. It's a very colorful biome and is made up of sea nuts, two plants, algae grass, and coral plants. In this biome, you can find some of the jellyfish from SpongeBob 2, which are pink and blue. These can be caught with a jellyfish net, but they also drop jelly, which can be used to make jelly sandwiches and some decorative blocks, where you can get wads of grease, which gives Sandy's air suit a golden spatula and karate glove. The air suit allows you to breathe underwater, and the spatula will launch enemies into the air. An expansion to jellyfishing is more jellyfish. It adds two new biomes, which are the kelp forest and rock bottom. And the rock bottom is made up of some new deep coral stone blocks, and you'll find jellyfish at both of these new biomes. Although these are themed around different mobs and materials instead. So if you can find jellyfish which drop redstone and diamond fragments, which can be combined to make normal diamonds. We already have shipwrecks in Minecraft, so instead this mod aims to take some of these wrecks, repair them, and add them to the surface of your oceans. There are seven different variants of unwrecked ships now available to discover. They're uninhabited, but you can still find chests containing loot on board, and maybe you could take control of the ships and turn them into miniature bases, especially when used alongside mods like Eureka airships. And you can expect this mod to be very vanilla-friendly. Quite a lot of additions come with the upgrade aquatic mod like Driftwood and River Wood. Or there is Coral Stone which can merge with nearby coral blocks creating some new decorative blocks. Outside of oceans, you can sleep in bed rolls which won't set a spawn point. From now on, Guardians will drop both their spines and eyes which are redstone items. Eyes can detect a player and will emit a signal, and when spines receive a signal, they will injure anything standing on them. From now on, you'll be able to pick up squid in a bucket. And within the oceans, you can find quite a few new creatures, including some new species of fish. Orders the likes of the Thrasher, which can use echolocation to find prey before grabbing and eating them, and they'll even attack players. Another small change comes with River Redux. It aims to improve vanilla river generation by adding three new biomes. These are the Gravelly River, Sandy River, and Tropical River. And while it isn't really an ocean mod, these rivers can still connect to oceans, so it works nicely, especially for navigating the overworld in ships or boats. While not specifically themed around oceans, Alex's mobs add several aquatic mobs into Minecraft. You can find mudskippers, crocodiles, orcas, lobsters, seals, whales, snapping turtles, shrimp, giant squid, and more. These can be found across different biomes within your world. I have some of these without AI, so they don't move around and are easier to record. And with this being Alex and mods, you can expect them to have some interesting behaviors and drops. But the mod adds many other mobs which can be based around real and mythical creatures. For a small but noticeable change, you can try out Higher World Deeper Ocean. This mod increases the height of the world by 32 blocks, allowing a greater distance between the bottom of the ocean and the surface, so they should definitely feel more ocean-like. And it's also compatible with other biome mods like Terralith, 
biomes of plenty, and other biomes you'll go. That covers most of the ocean transforming mods I could find, but I'm sure there are more. If you know of any others, then leave them down below in the comments for other players. And if you enjoyed the video, you can find a lot more on my channel.